let's solve the eighth challenge on ethanol called bot. Scroll down. And the goal of this contract, goal of this challenge, is to unlock the bot to pass the level. So this is the code. I'll copy this over to Remix. And then also get this challenge by clicking on get new instance. Confirm the transaction. And inside Remix, I've copied over the code. And the goal of this challenge is to unlock the bot to pass the level. If I highlight the state variable name locked, when this contract is deployed, it is set to true. And to unlock this contract, we'll need to set the log to false. The only other place that I see that is getting updated is the function unlock. The function unlock, if the password from the input is equal to the password from the state variable, then the lock is set to false. The password of the state variable is set during the constructor when this contract is deployed. And notice here that it is a private variable, so we can't just simply get the password. But all state variables in a smart contract can be accessed. Just because it has the state variable named private, this doesn't mean that we do not have any access to it. We can use Web3 to get the data stored here. To get the password from the contract, I'm back inside the Ethanol website and we're going to need access to the Web3 library. So to do that, I'm going to type F12 and this will pop open the browser console. Inside the console, I'll type await web3.eth.get storage at. And then for the first input, I'll pass in the address of the contract, contract.address and the index of the slot to get. The zero slot stores the state variable locked and the first slot stores the variable of the password. So here we'll say get the first slot and then I'll press enter. And that is the password, so I'll copy this. Back inside Remix, I've copied over the password and we'll click on the deployment tab and then select the test net. And then we'll load the bulk contract. So first I'll paste the password that I copied over. Back inside Ethernet, I'll get the address of the contract by copying the address of the instance. And then inside Remix, I'll click on the deployment tab, paste the address of the contract, make sure that we selected the bulk contract, and load the bulk contract interface at this address. Scroll down. And then we'll call the function unlock with the password that we just copied over. Paste it here, call the function unlock. And then confirm the transaction. Okay, the transaction was successful, so let's check that the locked is now equal to false. So I'll click on the locked, and it is equal to false. So we were able to unlock the contract. The last step of this challenge is to submit our instance. Click confirm. Okay, once you pass the challenge, you'll see the button change to go to next level.